so i'm back uh, with yet another episode of uh, panash talk hi toral how are you so it's always so good to see you all join the panash talk and uh, we are so fortunate and it uh, you know gives us so much of pleasure to uh, have such wonderful uh, women uh, on our uh, talk today uh, we will be having uh, a very uh, you know a uh, famous uh, dancer kathak uh, dancer she is uh, also a uh, you know dance guru choreographer and uh, performing art uh, administrator so it gives me immense pleasure to introduce dr parul purohit vats so i'm just adding her and she will be here in no time so dr parul is uh, currently the dean of uh, performing arts uh, hi paru how are you hi uh, those who are uh, listening to us uh, please let us know if you we are audible and properly visible so uh, how are you doing paru i'm doing really great shampa and i'm so happy to be on this broad podcast with you and thank you for inviting pleasure me pleasure is entirely ours entirely trust me and and you know that i've been a fan of your work i mean we know each other for quite a few years now and uh, what wonderful work you keep doing and the way you write and now i think you are dabbling into photography also and um, everything <laughs> it, it's really nice to know you and you know the way you keep expanding the horizon and working yeah thank you and i mean means a lot and the admiration is totally mutual you know that thank you toral thanks so um parul uh, we'll have very soon uh, more people joining us but i think we can continue with our chat uh, you know because there's so much to know from you you know uh, your journey where you started from how you uh, you know discovered your uh, passion for dance and so much to know so much to talk uh, so i think we can start off uh, and uh, i would love to uh, know how you know how and when did you get to uh, realize that uh, dance is your passion or your life you know that uh, love for dance how did you uh, you know realize how you know shampa i have been dancing since i was born that's how my mother puts it and um, the whole credit of me understanding uh, this medium of dancing and getting into classical art form the whole credit goes to my parents my mother and father because at a very young age at the age of 5 they realized that you know she can dance very well so and because obviously in schools also at that time i was participating in all the functions and um, they started my father specifically started researching on to uh, how dance can be something which can be a part of a child's life at that given point of time we are talking about you know pre internet and all that stuff so he used to meet a lot of people who were from the field yes and um, what he understood was i come from rajasthan let me tell you and rajasthan ke bare mein mujhe is bare mein batane ki zarurat nahi because it's a very conservative that was taking up dance as a career so um, he decided after meeting a lot of people that he only understood was ki folk or koi bhi modern dance hai ya western dance hai uski life choti hoti hai and classical dance is something that has a long long life the longevity of classical dance he understood that and also he understood that there's a lot of grace so when you grow older and you keep doing classical dance form that the grace is maintained so at the age of 6 i started my training in kathak because that was the dance form that was available in ajmer at that time my father was in bank and he was posted there so i started my journey with kathak there 
and I belonged to Jodhpur. So when we came back to Jodhpur, I kept learning then. My guru, now late, she came to Prakashi, he was there. And um, when I reached 10th grade, that's the time. Only what I put you hot man at Kerte, Bratte Lagaki, or up now, egg them say, you know, I was a good student, but 10th, I really put in an extra effort because at our times, 10th was a big thing. And everybody around me used to tell me, to fail, or Jagi Sarah didn't dance. Anyways, so in 10th, I got distinction in science, math, and English. And my principal, um, uh, I was in St. Patrick's, so my principal said, Parul, you can take science. And that was the moment I realized that I don't want to take science, you know. I mean, that is the moment I realized because before that I had been performing, I'd been learning Kathak, doing stage shows and, you know, everybody likes. And you get those small paychecks, you uh, perform with Sangeet Nadak Academy, you get calls from, you know, I got a call from Baroda University to perform and all. So that is the moment I realized, I said, no, you have to study, but science nahi leni hai, dance nahi chodna hai. So that was the moment I realized and I spoke to my father. So he said, Ki, fine, if you're leaving science, uh, great enough. I support you in that. But I want a doctor in front of your name. Now, how you get it, you have to work on that. So eventually, that's the reason I did my PhD. And uh, that was the time I applied for Ristigram. Ristigram is a dance gurukul. Now it is specifically for Odissi. But at that time, when I was in my 10th, Prathima Gauri Bedi, she had started it and it was for all eight classical art forms. So Kathak was there and I was the second student who was selected for a residential uh, purpose there and, you know, to learn there. So I got a full scholarship. Yeah. And uh, my guru, Kumudni Lakhyaji, she was teaching there. And I went to Rithigram, Bangalore. And from that point, I started my journey in Kathak as a thorough professional. So. And uh, how old were you that time? I did my 10th, so I must be around 15. Achha, 15 was you, uh, after 10th only, you joined there. Oh, wow. Yes, I joined 12th. I did my, uh, the 12th I did uh, was through correspondence and I came to give my exams. Uh, we call it private in Rajasthan board. And then I kept studying also the same ways in college that you only come to give your exams. And, uh, you know, it's, so that's how I did all my studies. Uh, Kumi Ben, because uh, my guru, Kumudi Lakhyaji, she couldn't travel so much to Bangalore. So after a year and a half, I shifted to her institution, Kadam, in uh, Ahmedabad. So there again, you know, I did my master's there. I did my bachelor's master's, everything in Kathak there. I performed with her in all the major festivals. Name it, you know, Khajura, Okunak, for ICCR, for Modera. So... That was, that was the moment, like, you know, those years, I knew exactly, I was very clear that dancing is something which will always be a part of my life. And uh, not only just as a passion, but purely as a profession also. So then I shifted to Ahmedabad and yeah. Amazing. So, I mean, uh, at the age of what, 15, 16, when you were in uh, 10th grade, you could actually see you know uh, where you want to land uh, your career uh, i mean uh, at 15 16 kids barely have uh, idea wo to dwell karte hain ye karunga kabhi wo karunga yeah, you know uh, they are typically so naive at that age uh, and uh, you had your vision for your career uh, you went to nithyagram i mean i uh, so i have this fondness love for dance so i know how prestigious nithyagram is and uh, you know along with that uh, continuing your career in dance and such a you know huge uh, uh, i think the whole the whole uh, credit would go to my parents because you know in a conservative society like rajasthan to have daughter, first of all, which they have heard. And I've also heard, like, you know, people talking to them. And thereafter, sending her into classical dance forms. Fair enough. And then at the age of 15, you know, sending her off to a gurukul. And that also to Pratima Gauri Vedi, you know. Because Gaurima had, uh, had uh, you know, her own persona. But there was another reputation also attached to her. Of course. So, of course. so uh, that was something that taking that kind of a leap 
I mean, now when I look back, I am very sure for my son Athar, I might not be able to do that. That kind of courage, you know, because hume, I think us time, um, Shampa, the best part was that, you know, uh, the awareness was very less in the sense of, yeah. you know, you didn't know about so many options and you didn't know about what was happening around the world in such detail that the parents were not very scared also. Now you and I, we kind of talk about things which our parents never spoke about, you know, never thought about mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. So the whole credit goes to them. And yes, that clarity of taking it as a profession, uh, I wouldn't say it was there, but I knew that, you know, I will just continue dancing. So everybody was like, I said, we'll see about it because at 15, who wants to get married? But um, right. that clarity was there. Like, you know, I will not leave dance mm -hmm. and taking science or taking any other uh, profession. I was, I was clear that dance will then not be a part of me because it needed around mm -hmm. six to seven hours of riyaz every day. If you're performing on international platform, then you need that kind of, you know, um hours every day and if you give six to seven hours to dancing phir uske baad to kya samay bachta hai aapke paas that's how it is bilkul bilkul so this is so amazing i was actually about to ask you uh ki, you know how you uh how and when did you realize that you want to take this up as a career but uh, i'm amazed to see that uh at uh you know the early age of uh uh, 15 16 you were so clear that you want to take up dance as your career and kudos to your parents definitely uh, because they had the, that courage to face the society and uh, keep their uh, daughter's dream uh, and their her career uh, uh, above everything and uh, more uh, you know uh, having that belief in you that yes you can do it amazing i think isi belief ke liye you are uh, you know here where you are right that belief absolutely what you uh, where you are right so and i so still get that from them mm -hmm. i'm sorry yeah tell us more about your uh, you know journey into uh, dance uh, as in uh, you know you went to a uh, nitrogram uh, so after that uh, ahmedabad so how this happened and you know uh, what all you learned during this time what were your struggles uh, challenges because you were so young there you know um, rajasthan mein kahawat hai shampa ajan aur andha barabar hota hai so if you are unaware you are as good as a blind so I think that was a blessing in disguise for me because I was very naive and coming from Rajasthan, Jodhpur, when I reached okay. Nrithigram, that was a cultural shock for me because it's a different life altogether. Um, you talk about dance, you breathe dance and more than dance, the best part I learned with Gaurima was documentation of whatever you were doing, presentation, um, how to speak about what you are doing. So I have to first make you understand also the context of everything. So with Gaurima, I think the struggle with that I had in Rittigram was obviously homesickness because I was very young. And secondly, all the people who were around me, I've always been the youngest wherever I've gone. So, you know, I was 15 and then there were girls who were 27 and 28. So you feel very lonely. And mm -hmm. in Kathak, um, we were only two of us. The one who was the first chosen one, she was 33 at that given age. So, you know, the age gap was humongous. She was almost double my age. So that was yeah. one thing. But yes, um, what I have learned from my parents, and I again thank them for this, is they consistently told me and my sister Pragya to keep observing more. They always say mm -hmm. that. So that I used to observe a lot. I used to observe a lot. And uh, the learning was immense in Jastigram because a lot of people from the film industry used to come there. And back in Rajasthan, Film is something that you don't, you know, consider film industry a very good industry at that time. Now the things have changed. So, you know, that openness of my mind happened 
in this program where I became very accepting of people. I stopped judging people. So, wow. you know, we used, to, you, we used to have these evening conversations with Gauri Ma, Pratima Ji, that she used to say, and this is one thing which I really picked from her. She said, Parul, A, don't say you dislike something without having tried it or dwelled in it, you know. And second mm -hmm. thing she always said is that my right can be your wrong and your wrong, your right can be my wrong. So, you know, mm -hmm. we are different people. So as accepting as you will be, your dance will flourish. So, you know, she used to bring everything back to dancing and she used to not preach us, but she actually was a guru. I never learned ODC from her, but uh, acceptance of things, what you call vices, those are people who do a lot of things and it's absolutely okay as far as it is okay with them. You know, they are not kind of hurting me or they are not making it a difficult time for me. So acceptance. And I think eventually that acceptance helped me in dance because classical dancer, who Kathak dancer, who so ye aise bas Kathak mein nahi rahe I learned a lot of other dance forms. I looked at choreography from a different perspective. A um, lot of foreign uh, work, foreigners used to come, foreign dancers used to come there for workshop. So I remember Wolfgang Karke group tha, which was the first one that came when I joined uske thode time baad. You know, they hardly wear anything when they are dancing and they are so comfortable with their bodies. And for me, you know, you can make out from my eyes. I was standing there and I was looking at them and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I think that is what Gorima sensed. And that very evening she spoke to me. She said, um, you're comfortable in your salwar suit? I said, yeah, absolutely. She said, your skin is also your costume. Your body is your costume. And what we offer through dance is our soul. And whom do we offer it to? We offer it to the divine. Because Indian classical dance, her soul is spiritual. So right. she, said, she said, you are comfortable in your skin, they're comfortable in their skin. So accept it. Took me a lot of time. But yes, Ritigram was a great learning. And then after I shifted to Ahmedabad, Ahmedabad, mm -hmm. Gujarat speaking, food completely different. Um, there were no hostels there at time for you know, a 16 and a half, 17 year old girl there. So I stayed in a working women's hostel. Again, the same story. Humongous age gaps, nobody to talk to. Gujarati aati nahi hai. Thoda bahut samaj mein aati thi. But, uh, and also, you know, when you go to a place where, where you're learning something, there is a lot of competition among students. And if you are good, right. then you, you feel that kind of an, you know, that unacceptance is there, which gradually, obviously, initially it was there, but gradually it kind of went off when I started performing with everyone. So, if it's like that there's a lot of struggle, then it doesn't seem to be like that, but it now seems that for so many years, at that given age of, you know, that given age, that time period, or uh, now when you, somebody like you asks me, and when I look back, Yes, it was difficult, you know, but one thing was very clear that dance to karna hai or Kumudni ji, because Kumi, Kumi Ben, like how normally people know her, she's a Padma Bhushan, but uh, Rekha Wali Umrav Janthi, uski sari choreography unhone ki hai. So she's one of the best choreographers we have, her aesthetic sense and, you know, her designing sense is amazing. So wo sara kuch itna seekhne ko mil raha tha, to shayad us time realize nahi hua. But when I look back now and I sometimes, you know, pat my back, you survived. You know, I could have gone back to Jodhpur, mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. cushion life. Uh, thank you. Yeah. So we have a Gujarati here, Toral. So he says, she says, Ki, <laughs> we have a Gujarati here. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, Toral. It's lovely. And now I'm, I would say I'm one-tenth Gujarati. I can speak Gujarati and I love Gujarati food. And I've got a lot of friends from Gujarat all over the world now because we all dance together. So I gave good eight years to Ahmedabad. And um, I'm very, yeah, so, I mean, you know, one of the best experiences of my life, both Nithikram and Ahmedabad, yeah. Because, you know, as artists, you only grow when you see a lot of life. Dance ki technique to aapko koi bhi sikha deka. Or aap kahin se bhi sikh jaoge. लेकिन उसकी रेंडिशन और उसकी परफॉर्मेंस तब अलग होती है जब आप जिंदगी देखते हैं। So like when I see my Abhinay at the age of 25, 
or and then i see at the age where my son was born or before that when i got married mere mere abine mein change aa gaya kyunki kuch ek jaise mamta nahi samajh mein aati aapko you know just now you like kids but you don't the moment you have your own child it just you know you feel overwhelmed and and that's a different feeling altogether so and it it just comes to into your dance so the love for divine which was always there because hum dance hi unhi ke liye karte hain apne bhagwan ke liye but wo um, unke ke liye nazariya badal gaya so yes it's, it's been great yeah amazing amazing paru lips i mean uh, uh, ये सुनने में ही आपको इतना अच्छा लग रहा है आई एम श्योर आपके जो स्टूडेंट्स है हाउ ब्लेस दे आर टू लर्न फ्रॉम यू बिकॉज यू नो अ गुरु हु हैज सो मच ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एंड यू नो सो मच ऑफ नॉलेज इन डांस दैट्स अ डेडली कॉम्बिनेशन टेल मी समथिंग परफॉर्मिंग यू आर परफॉर्मिंग यू आर लर्निंग ऑल्सो सो देर वेंट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेन यू फेल्ट कि अच्छा मैं तो परफॉर्म कर ही रही हूँ सो वाई कंटिन्यू विथ माई एडुकेशन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन क्यों करना है डॉक्टरेट क्यों करना है कभी फील नहीं हुआ ऐसे हर पल फील होता था एवरी मोमेंट बिकॉज यू नो वेन यू आर परफॉर्मिंग इट्स अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड यू नो यू आर ऑन स्टेज इवन इफ यू आर डूइंग अ सोलो और अ ग्रुप परफॉर्मेंस डजेंट मैटर बट यू नो the kind of appreciation you get aur mm-hmm. wo jo lime light hoti hai wo makeup kiya hua aapne aur jab aap performance ke baad niche utarte hain everybody walks up to you and you're like you were brilliant you were brilliant you were brilliant and those photographs aur hamare time mein kyunki phones ye wale phone nahi the um androids and you know uh, smartphones so us time mein proper bade wale camera se you know the photographers are coming and journalists are coming and and dusre din newspaper mein aapke bare mein likha ja raha hai when you do a solo if you even do a group तो ग्रुप कुमी बहन के ग्रुप के बारे में लिखा जा रहा है योर फोटोग्राफ इज देयर एंड योर नेम इज मेंशन एंड अगेन द होल होल क्रेडिट गोस टू माय पेरेंट्स स्पेशली माय फादर ही वाज लाइक बेटा पीएचडी तो करनी है वरना हम कुछ नहीं करने देंगे आपको ही एक्चुअली नहीं दिया है उन्होंने नहीं ही वाज वेरी क्लियर अबाउट इट एंड ही डिड लेट मी स्टार्ट माय इंस्टीट्यूशन और माय क्लासेस आल्सो टिल ही सेड कि नहीं अभी नहीं जब तक पीएचडी नहीं होगा You will not earn because एक बार जब earning में आप पढ़ जाते हो तो आपकी पढ़ाई छूट जाती है He was very clear about it. So mm-hmm. पूरा पी एच डी का चाहे आप बोले फॉर माई ग्रेजुएशन और माई मास्टर्स माई पी एच डी द होल क्रेडिट गोज टू माई फादर बिकॉज ही सर नहीं आप आई नो एंडिंग विद वन डे यू विल ग्रो ओल्डर एंड स्टेमिना चला जाएगा एंड फिर क्या करोगे नाई उस तरह से क्या हो गया अपना स्टूडियो चलाएंगे वो भी चला रहा है ये भी चला रहा है कुमी बहन ने थोड़ी कोई पी एच डी की है उसने थोड़ी की है सो आई है इतना नहीं हम मतलब बोल पाते थे लेकिन हल्का सा थोड़ा सा बोल देते थे कि डैडी उसने भी तो नहीं किया नहीं सर पर आप वो नहीं हो ना बेटा आपको मैंने टेंथ में ये बोला था कि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अ डांस दैट शुड बी अ डॉक्टर इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर नेम अब आप वो पीएचडी इंग्लिश में कर रहे हो आप म्यूजिक में कर रहे हो डांस में कर रहे हो या कुकिंग में कर रहे हो मुझे उससे मतलब नहीं है आई वॉन्ट अ डॉक्टर इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर नेम सो द होल क्रेडिट गोज टू हिम कम्प्लीटली Yeah. Amazing and like Vandana is, uh, you know, uh, well said Vandana. Uh, she <laughs> does come across as uh, daddy's girl. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely daddy's girl. Absolutely daddy. And in the, we all can relate. I mean, even Vandana is, uh, you know, uh, she has a different uh, place for her dad. और मेरे साथ भी वही है सो वी कैन रिलेट एक्चुअली मोस्ट ऑफ अस वी ऑल आर आर डैट इज गर्ल वी डू हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल प्लेस फॉर आर डैड्स सो व्हिच मींस परफॉर्मिंग एंड लर्निंग वाज गोइंग साइमिलटेनियसली बट टीचिंग केम ओनली आफ्टर योर पीएचडी वाज डन राइट नो आई स्टार्टेड टीचिंग एट द एज ऑफ 18 Uh, with Kumi Ben only, because um, you know Kumi Ben, Kumi Ben is somebody who you know mentors you completely. So mm-hmm. till the age of eighteen, I was getting a CCRT scholarship. After that, I got a scholarship from Maharaja of Jodhpur, uh, Gat Singh Ji, Maharaj. He supported me financially for three years. 
<coughs> excuse me and at that time i was having this conversation with kumi ma'am that you know it is expensive it is expensive to live in another city and then mm-hmm. learn and and you know give your fees so i told her i said if you could please uh, either waive off my fees and she said no i don't believe in waiving off the fees however mm-hmm. i will employ you as a teacher here so i started with teaching the chota wala bachcho ka batch at the age of 17 and a half or 18 let's say and she used to pay me she used to pay me um, at least four times more than my fees so you know that kind of a grace the guru have kumi ben is amazing so sikhana maine us time se shuru kar diya tha what my father was very clear about is that commercially khud se sikhana as long as you are doing it with your guru great enough because that was a um and afterwards when i was doing my phd i had to go back to jodhpur so jodhpur mein wo 3 saal lag ke aur phd mein ye hota hai that you have to keep going to the university and obviously your guide and everybody so that said ki ye pura samay aapne wo 2 3 saal ka aapko break lena padega aap sirf riyaz karenge sikha to aapne liya hai you have learned the technique of teaching and touch wood i was a good good teacher at a very young age only i had that knack for teaching so he said ki aap bhul to nahi jaoge 3 saal mein so pehle you know finish your phd so thereafter i started commercially teaching but uh, mm-hmm. not before that so yeah amazing so parul how did drama happen to you i mean as a dancer of course uh, you are uh, dramatizing emotions and uh, you know ideas uh, Uh, on stage uh, every moment but uh, oh. pure drama kab kaise oh. again a coincidence so um, what happened is that uh, a because of gauri ma and kumi ben both i am very open minded with art forms and i am very keen on learning things and if you offer me something i will never say no that is one thing you know if you offer me a a, a job or a or um, you know a performance i mean i'm talking pertaining to dance ke ye kuch naya karte hain i will always my first answer would be yes then after i will think isko kaise karenge so when my son was two and a half year old then i thought ki aap sikha to main rahi hu dance perform bhi kar hi rahi hu so i said you know might as well i should apply for a school job so i'll go along with him i'll come back with him and secondly mm-hmm. what i felt is that uh, you know when you teach a set of students who are just purely coming to you for dance that is a completely different approach from going into an educational institution because mm-hmm. for them there are other subjects which are very very important and dance is a part of it so wo approach you know something as simple as making a lesson plan or right. you know kind of uh, uh, combining it with math and english and science and hindi and you know taking it forward so wo sara bhi sikhne ko milega and i go with athar when i'll come back with athar so hota hi hai na pehla bhai bhi hai to aapko nazar ke samne thoda rehta hai so you feel good about it right. so while i was uh, if i'm not wrong it was sun city school when i was in sun city school there was a workshop happening and it was by british dance so mm-hmm. you can see me how i am this is the way i am you know i i when i talk i dramatize everything and i have a lot of expression so the lady who had come in there as one of the managers she said you know can you teach drama i said yes mm-hmm. i never say no huh. so she said would you do a drama workshop for our children i said yeah absolutely why not you know you send me the the requisition and i'll do it so she sent me that mail i saw i prepared kathak is basically storytelling se aaya hai all the indian classical dance form basically it's storytelling तो मैंने उसके आसपास प्रिपेयर किया अंग्रेजी आती है कोई परेशानी नहीं हुई आई वेंट एंड आई डिड द वर्कशॉप एंड इट वाज अ सक्सेस आई हैड टू डिफरेंट एज ग्रुप्स वन वर यू नो आई थिंक फ्रॉम सिक्स टू नाइन और टेन इयर्स ओल्ड एंड द अदर्स वर फ्रॉम इलेवन टू सेवेंटीन काइंड ऑफ इट वॉज रियली नाइस बट द ग्लिच केम वॉज दैट आई वॉज नॉट अ ट्रेन ड्रामा टीचर सो Uh, थोड़ा वो पेमेंट्स के टाइम में थोड़ा सा बुलंद शव हुआ एंड दैट लेडी हु हैड काइंड ऑफ ऑफर्ड विद अ जॉब शी आल्सो हैड द ट्रबल एंड सेकंडली फॉर मी आल्सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट फॉर्म मोर इन डेप्थ दैट्स व्हेन आई टुक अप परफॉर्मेंस आर्ट्स विद ट्रिनिटी 
So I did grade eight in performance arts from Trinity, and uh, for good two to three years, I studied drama very from the perspective of drama, not from dance. And काफी uh, mm. in depth उसकी study की मैंने. And simultaneously, मेरे को British Council because the library में वो workshop अच्छी गई थी. So they kept calling me for voice modulation, and they kept calling me for other things. So that two three years, I learned drama from a few of the best people around in Delhi. and i picked up nuances and obviously being a dancer helped me a lot because kafi kuch connect ho jata hai so apne ekdam scratch se nahi shuru kiya so again this just happened but then i loved it and i think i was one of the drama teachers who used a lot of matlab usko hum physical theater keh sakte hain sharir ko bahut use karna expression facial expressions ko bahut use karna more than the dialogues and everything so i think the children loved it because you know unme bahut energy hoti hai So when you right. give them a lot of movements, then they are very happy with the teacher. So, mm -hmm. so that's how you know drama happened, and still continuing with that. Yeah. Amazing. So, um, Parul, I believe uh, you know besides all of this, you also went into uh, developing curriculum, and later on mm -hmm. into uh, you know administration bit as well. So, how did right. that happen? That happened that that um, happened you know मुझे अलग अलग चीजें अच्छी लगती है कुछ भी अलग होता है सो वी वर माई हजबेंड माई सन एंड आई वी वर गोइंग ऑन गोल्फ कोर्स रोड फॉर सम वर्क एंड वी सॉ दिस यूज बोर्ड ऑफ कुंसकोलन स्वीडिश स्कूल इन गुड नाम आई एम श्योर एवरीबडी नो अबाउट इट तो जब वो कुंसकोलन पढ़ा तो समझ नहीं आया कि इसको प्रोनाउंस कैसे करते हैं तो माई हजबेंड वॉज लाइक इट्स अ नाइस नेम तो ऐसे हाँ तो मैंने कहा इनको फोन करके पूछते हैं कि इन, इनका नाम कैसे प्रोनाउंस किया जाता है सो ही सेट कि हाँ पहले वेबसाइट देख लेते हैं मे बी यू नो देर इज इट इज रिटर्न देर एंड वी वर हैविंग दिस डिस्कशन सो देन आई द नेक्स्ट डे आई जस्ट ओपन द वेबसाइट एंड आई सॉ एंड बहुत ज्यादा कुछ नहीं था वेबसाइट पे ज्यादा स्वीडन का था बट आई गॉट टू नो दैट मार्क पाकिंसन है डायरेक्टर so i applied so i was the first faculty who was taken in kunskap school and uh, wow. i would i would thank uh, sunita nambiar ji for this uh, she is now i think the ceo or ceo i don't know why but at that time uh, you know when when i joined it she she was heading the whole curriculum department also and um, she gave me this opportunity uh, to develop curriculum for dance and music and um, under her mentorship um, i learned a lot of nuances of curriculum developing because dance ka pata hai forms ka pata hai lekin ek format hota hai curriculum uh, develop karne ka so wo sara kuch wahan pe and luckily you know, i applied and they took me for the job and then again i was asked that will you be able to develop the curriculum i said yes ab kaise hoga kya hoga wo baad mein dekhi jayegi but uh, अंग्रेजी आती है आर्ट के बारे में पता है पूरा इन डेप्थ नॉलेज है सो आई एम श्योर आई 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 विल बी एबल टू डू इट सो सुनीता मैम रियली हेल्प मी अलॉट एंड दैट्स वेयर आई डिड लॉट ऑफ करिकुलम डेवलपिंग फॉर कुंस स्टार्टेड टीचिंग देयर एंड देयर ओनली स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली शी गेव मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू बी अ टीम लीड देयर आफ्टर अ कल्चरल कोऑर्डिनेटर सो कुंस कप स्कूल इज वन ऑफ द स्कूल देयर यू नो दे गिव इक्वल वेटेज टू कोर्स कोलास्टिक एंड स्कोलास्टिक तो मुझे कभी लगा नहीं कि हम कोर्स कोलास्टिक कर रहे हैं वी हैड लाइक यू नो फ्रॉम स्पोर्ट्स डे टू फिल्म फेस्टिवल टू लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ अदर थिंग्स आई गॉट अ चांस एंड एंड शी ट्रस्टेड मी विथ द फैक्ट दैट आई कुड ऑर्गेनाइज इट ऑब्वियसली देर वॉज अ ह्यूज टीम ऑफ टीचर्स आई कैन डू इट ऑल अलोन बट शी गेम बी दैट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड दैट्स वेयर आई रियलाइज दट हा administration is something that i can do and you know eventually it will help me in my own academy or something was going that back of my mind so after that uh, i took a break for a year because i wanted to study further i kuch soch rahi thi kuch likhna chahti thi lot of things in my mind and thoda riyaz because once you become a coordinator and especially in schools pe time kam milta hai aapko so right. riyaz थोड़ा फर्क पड़ रहा था आई वॉज गेटिंग कट ऑफ फ्रॉम द आर्ट फील्ड सो आई टूक दैट वन ईयर ब्रेक 
and that is the time when I got an opportunity from Shriram Bharatiya Kala Kendra. So Shriram Bharatiya Kala Kendra is Mandi House mein hai, and it is one of the mm-hmm. oldest uh, dance and music institution. So mm-hmm. I thought they have called me for a teacher. And I said, who is going to travel from Gurgaon to Delhi, you know, twice a week and teach Kathak? I might as well teach in Gurgaon itself. When I reached there, I got to know that the offer was for principal. So always yes. So I joined in as a principal there. And uh, Amazing. So Shobha Deepak Singh Ji is the one who heads the institution as a director. Again, under her leadership for two, two and a half years, I worked there. I learned how to handle fragile egos of the artists who are the gurus there from dealing with the parents and students that thankfully from Kunz I had taken the training. So, and thereafter, um, after two, two and a half years of that, I applied for a job in WUD, that's the World University of Design. So I thought mm-hmm. I have never taught in a university. So let me apply for an associate professor or a professor job. I applied and then I was called in after a good six months. But when they called me, they offered the position of a dean and they offered to me to start off their bachelor's and master's in performing arts. So again, it was like, you know, God sent. But uh, so that's how administration happened. And here I am now as the dean and professor for performing arts in WUD. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And, you uh, you know, uh, this journey, this entire journey is so enlightening. So, uh, I mean, uh, I just wish that more and more people are able to see this uh, live, this uh, talk, and are able to understand that, uh, you know, dance or any performing art for that matter has a growth of its own uh, for the performer, the you know, uh, the artist, uh, performer is a limited, uh, you know, word uh, for oh, um, yes, artist yes. is what aptly suits. So, so for that artist, and uh, I mean, looking at you, I can just tell them that, uh, uh, you know, uh, sky is the limit. Or, uh, Absolutely. I, and, and now, thankfully, Shampa, the thing has happened is that we have internet. And apart mm-hmm. from that, the options have gone really high in, in performing right. arts. Take right. it as dance, drama, music, you take anything. You know, parents mm-hmm. are scared to send their children thinking, ki kya karegi? Ya kya karega? Mm-hmm. Stage pe perform kar lega? Phir mm-hmm. choreographer ban jayega? Ya music producer ban jayega? Phir teacher ban jayega? School mein ya university ya college mein? It is not like that. Mm-hmm. You know, there, there is a whole thing of art administration is a different ball game altogether and immense possibilities there from you know from managing a singular artist so agar aap abhi jitne bhi top notch solo artists dekhte hain mm-hmm. unko manage karne ke liye bhi artist hi hote hain kyunki temperament ko samajhna uh, unki riyaz ko usko uske sath sensitive hona aap mere ko bole ki parul mere ko 7 baje tumhara interview chahiye so somebody is, has to be there to reschedule my practice time because if i start missing on my practice I won't be what I am today, right? Um, then, then dance therapy has come in so so strongly. I was indeed last week, uh, you know, I met uh, Tripura Kashyadji. She's one of the pioneers in dance therapy in India. And we were talking about it. And kahi par logo ko lagta tha ki dance therapy is only for people um, who are with special needs. But I have been, I have been working with her closely and learning things from her on and off. Jitna musse ho paata hai. And uh, it is so needed for normal people also who are into regular job. Dance is therapeutic, but usko us tarike se sikhana. And apart from that, teaching also. Um, foreign universities offer so many courses in dance, and then so many opportunities. And I'm only talking about dance. Again, music is another ball game altogether, and dramatics apne apne alag ek cheez ho jati hai. So I feel like you know, what better than following your passion as your profession and and earning well out of it you know so so that's something that i suppose that people should understand that agar bachcha artist hai kyunki har koi artist nahi ho everybody cannot be an artist wo god's gift hota hai hum kehte hain you know every human being is an artist so wo jo chahe seekh sakta hai seekh sakta hai 
हर इंसान सब कुछ सीख सकता है लेकिन यू नो देर इज अ गॉड गिफ्ट एक एक नेट ऑफ थिंग्स होता है 25 बच्चे आपके सामने डांस कर रहे हैं और आपकी नजर सिर्फ एक बच्चे पे जाती है जो तीसरी लाइन में पीछे खड़ा है उसका जो नजर है उसका जो देखने का तरीका उसका जो अंग है उसका जो कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल है यू गो टू यू मस्ट हैव अटेंडेड द एनुअल फंक्शंस ऑफ योर चिल्ड्रन एंड यू मस्ट हैव सीन एब्सोल्युटली यू आर राइट परफॉर्मर अलग दिखता है मेनी मोमेंट्स ऑन दोस लाइंस वेयर अ पर्टिकुलर चाइल्ड विल डेफिनेटली ग्रैब द अटेंशन बिकॉज़ ऑफ सो मेनी थिंग्स सो you know sometimes it is their body language sometimes it is their expression sometimes it is all of that i mean you know some are just born with the talent ab sikhaya to sabko ek hi teacher ne wo talent right. ko aap replicate nahi kar sakte ho learning uh, we can learn skills actually but the uh, art is not skill so uh, yeah. this is something you have to be born with you have Absolutely. to have that talent and knack and uske baad to one has to learn it definitely so uh, parul uh, uh, what i would again want to i mean uh, reemphasize more or want to learn from you more i mean uh, for you it has been a different journey altogether but aaj ke date pe for the kids of uh, the you know the current generation how different it is if they are taking up uh, any performing art or art for that matter uh, as career and oh. how uh, you know differently they can uh, design their career what do you think on those lines as you are right now uh, you know uh, you are the dean of a prestigious university on the performing arts uh, you know field so i'm sure uh, you know no one better to uh, address this than you You know, Champa. First thing, the parents have to understand that if you want to make your child a doctor or engineer, so there is a certain number of years that the child has to study to become a normal MBBS or just say, we say engineering level. We don't talk about specialization. We don't talk about the normal degree. But there are a certain number of years that you put in. So when you are looking at arts, arts may be the same thing. You can get instant result. Mil sakta hai. Aaj, you know, you come to my house tomorrow. For two days, I'll teach you a song. Third day, you can perform wherever you want to perform. And I've I've helped people do that who just wanted that, you know, two minutes of fame for whatever reason. Chadi me kar rahe hain ya, you know, koi competition me kar rahe hain. There are a lot of children who go out for other competitions and all. But one has to understand that if your child has that kind of a potential to make it a career, a it is a career. जहां पर बहुत ज्यादा कंपटीशन नहीं है क्योंकि अच्छे आर्टिस्ट बहुत कम होते हैं और काम अच्छे आर्टिस्ट को ही मिलता है जो अच्छा काम होता है सो so, उसको सीखने के लिए यू विल हैव टू गिव अ सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ इयर्स नाउ थैंकफुली व्हेन आई व्हाई आई जॉइंड डब्ल्यू यू डी ऑल्सो वॉज द रीजन दैट वेन आई वॉज डूइंग माई डांस स्टडीज उसके साथ साथ में मैं रेगुलर कॉलेज की स्टडीज भी कर रही थी बिकॉज अगर मेरा बी नहीं होगा अगर मेरा एम नहीं होगा तो मेरा डांस और Uh, इसमें जो एम ए और बी ए है उसको रिकग्निशन नहीं मिलेगी सो नाउ दीज यूनिवर्सिटीज आर गिविंग यू अ कोर्स दैट इज अ बैचलर्स और मास्टर्स इन योर पैशन सो इफ यू आर लर्निंग म्यूजिक और इफ यू आर लर्निंग डांस उसी स्किल सेट को लेकर आप और एक रेगुलर डिग्री कर रहे हो सो ये एक प्लस पॉइंट हो गया बच्चों के लिए अब पहले के टाइम में ये बहुत कम था जैसे अखिल भारतीय गांधर महाविद्यालय देता है या कई लोग मेरे पास आते हैं माई चाइल्ड हैज लर्न फॉर एट ईयर्स From Prayag Sangeet Samiti, from Gandhar Ma Vidyalay uh, Mandal, uh, from Kheragad, so ये सब कुछ लेके आते और मैं उनको एक ही चीज समझाती हूँ कि Kheragad या Prayag ये सब जो है uh, Gandhar they are examining bodies, they are they don't run their institution, they are examining bodies जहाँ जाके कोई भी ऐसे कोई भी जाके अपना form भर देता है और वो अगर बहुत अच्छा dance भी नहीं करता हो तो 33, 36 परसेंट से पास हो भी सकता है तो कोई यू नो यू यू आर एक्चुअली नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द फैक्ट कि एग्जाम देने से लर्निंग नहीं होती है लर्निंग होने के बाद अगर आप uh, किसी वैल्यू वाला कोई अच्छा एफिलिएशन वाला या कोई अच्छा स्टैंडर्ड वाला एग्जाम देते हैं वो काउंट करता है लाइक आई डेट परफॉर्मेंस आउट फ्रॉम ट्रिनिटी तो दैट काउंट अदरवाइज बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो स्टेज पे जोर जोर से बोल के ड्रामा करते हैं but people who come from nsd they have an nsd ka 
थप्पा इज इन एन एस डी एन सो उसी तरीके से तो बच्चों के पास ऑप्शन की कमी नहीं है बट आर्ट इज लाइक इट्स लाइक ए डेलीकेसी उसको बहुत प्यार से और फाइन तरीके से उसको पकाना पड़ता है जैसे जैसे आपका शरीर चेंज होता है वैसे वैसे आपकी कला निखरती है तो आप सोचे कि अभी जैसे पारुल डांस कर रही है वैसे मेरी सत्रह साल की लड़की डांस कर ले तो एट द एज ऑफ सेवनटीन बींग विद कुमुदी लाखिया ऑल्सो आई वॉज इन डांसिंग दैट वे बिकॉज ना मेरी बॉडी डेवलप हुई थी ना मेरा मन डेवलप हुआ था एक भाव होता है प्रेम समझ में ही नहीं आते प्रेम समझ में आता है उस टाइम में ओ सलमान खान इज प्रेम यू थिंक दैट वेज यू नो फिल्म देन इवेंचुअली इट शिफ्ट टू योर हजबेंड देन इट शिफ्ट टू योर चाइल्ड एंड देन इट गोज बैक टू द डिवाइन बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली वो चीज बार बार हमारे गुरु कहते हैं कोई भी जो हमें सिखाता है वो ये कहता है कि डांस uh, जो खेमचंद प्रकाश जी मेरे गुरु थे पहले वो हमेशा ये चीज कहते थे कि नृत्य दो तरह से होता है एक तो नृत्य में आप खुद को परोसते हो यू ऑफर योर सेल्फ टू द ऑडियंस एंड यू सी दैट लुक एट मी यू नो आई एम अ डांसर एंड आई एम अ परफॉर्मर एंड लुक एट मी एंड यू शुड बी लाइक यू नो अप्रिशिएटिंग मी एक जो सही नाच का तरीका है वो ये है दैट यू ऑफर योर सेल्फ टू द डिवाइन जिस भी भगवान में आप मानते हैं कृष्ण पे ज्यादा ऑब्वियसली डांस के अंदर जो लिटरेचर है वो कृष्ण पे ज्यादा है बट मन में जैसे मैं साई को मानती हूँ तो मैं साई को सोचती हूँ सो आई एम ऑफरिंग माई सेल्फ टू द डिवाइन एंड द ऑडियंस इज वॉचिंग मी एंड कमिंग अलॉन्ग विथ मी ऑन दैट जर्नी सो जब आप ये दो तरह के डांसेस देखेंगे आपको वो फर्क खुद ही समझ में आ जाएंगे बींग नॉन डांसर ऑल्सो because there will be a lot of people who will just look into your eyes and give you that glance and they'll be like look at me you know i am the one thoda sa kapde aise kiya thoda sa you know bold makeup kiya kuch bhi kiya just to attract your attention classical dancer ko audience ki attention ki zarurat hi nahi hai wo wahan connect kar rahe wahan offer kar rahe because he used to do it in temples before so mm-hmm. the thing is that you have to understand that your child Will not only learn an art form, but also develop as a human being. So EQ is our, which empathy is our, which we have in the schools. We have sessions for the kids. No bullying, 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 no
क्योंकि सिक्स में आपको थोड़ा सा टू प्लस टू इतना बेसिक मैथ आ जाता है एंड एंड डांस में जो सारा डांस या म्यूजिक में जितना भी लय ताल का काम है वो सब मैथमेटिक्स होता है सो so, जब आपको उतना मैथ आ जाता है और दूसरा आपके थोड़ा शरीर में ताकत हो जाती है कुछ बच्चे पांच साल में भी बड़े तगड़े हो जाते हैं बट सिक्स इज द राइट एज वेन आई ऑलवेज प्रिफर टू स्टार्ट एंड I teach online on and off as much time as I get now because I'm setting up this new whole setup of the university performing arts and apart from that, जब थोड़ा सा time world university से मिलता है तो फिर practices and performances होते हैं. But I genuinely take only students जिनके parents बहुत clear हैं कि वो बच्चे को dance सिखाना चाहते हैं, dance करवाना नहीं चाहते. In the sense of कि भाई परसो परफॉर्म करा दो और तीन महीने के बाद एक स्टूडियो परफॉर्मेंस हो जाए एक बैठक हो जाए एंड फिर छह महीने बाद एक कंपटीशन में चला जाए सो सिक्स प्लस इज व्हाट आई टेक बट वेरी वेरी सिंसियर एंड वेरी डेडिकेटेड पीपल हु हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ पेशेंस माँ बाप में ही पेशेंस नहीं होता तो बच्चे में तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं होता बच्चों में तो होता होना भी नहीं चाहिए ना बच्चों में तो पेशेंस बट इट ट्रिकल्स इन फ्रॉम द पेरेंट्स सो दैट्स हाउ Amazing. So Vandana will connect with you. She is uh, keen for her daughter. Uh, anytime, anytime. Her daughter is very talented. Uh, she is uh, very expressive also. So, um, Parul, uh, now that you are, uh, you know, uh, the dean of uh, the uh, World uh, University of Design, and uh, uh, you know, you are heading the uh, performing arts. Uh, division so what are your visions for them as in for the university for the performing arts uh, division or uh, you know what do you want to uh, uh, bring on the table as uh, in this role you know i was very clear when i joined in and i had the discussion with the management ki um, a hame ab global approach rakhna padega so agar main classical seekh rahi hu ya seekh raha hu खाली उससे काम नहीं चलता है क्लासिकल तो अपनी जगह है ही है बट अगेन फॉर मी द थिंग वॉज दैट आई वेंट टू गोरिमा एंड देन आई वेंट टू कुमी बेन सो दैट एक्सेप्टेंस एंड दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ बॉडी डेवलप्ड अंडर देम बट इफ यू आर ओनली लर्निंग फ्रॉम वन गुरु वो चीज नहीं डेवलप होती है सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी हैव काइंड ऑफ प्रॉट इन ऑन टेबल फॉर फॉर दिस कोर्स द बैचलर्स इन परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट एज वेल एज फॉर मास्टर्स इज दैट a person has to know how to present his work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see when you join a performing arts course so dancer or performer or teacher banna to given hai itna to basic mm -hmm. hoga hi hoga aap mein lekin mm -hmm. khud ko manage karna khud ko market karna uske alawa festivals curate karna administration part dekhna therapeutic part dekhna ye sara kuch aur uske alawa we have brought in with classical dance forms we have brought in kalari bite also Kalari Pike is a martial art dance form. It is a martial art, but it, mm -hmm. it beautifully merges into dance. So the way you build your body and the way you understand the injuries and the safe practices. You keep dancer. Mm -hmm. If one time injured, we don't understand that thing. Floating. Like we were little, so hit the knee hard, 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 and 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 गौरीमा वॉज लाइक कि जमीन ऐसी होनी चाहिए जो आपकी बॉडी का शॉक एब्जॉर्ब करे सो वेन यू डांस यू मस्ट बी सींग इन लॉट ऑफ फॉरन कंट्रीज एंड नाउ ऑल्सो इन इंडिया ऑल्सो दैट देर आर यू नो गुड इन फ्लोर विच हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ दे टेक योर शॉक गौरीमा ने वहां पर वहां की लोकल जो मिट्टी है उसकी जमीन बनवाई दी थी वो पूरा शॉक जो है वो एब्जॉर्ब करती थी सो हमारी स्पाइन पे नीज पे हिप्स जॉइंट पे फर्क नहीं पड़ता था अभी मैं कई बार देखती हूँ स्टूडियोज में जाती हूँ पीपल इनवाइट मी एज अ चीफ गेस्ट और वट एवर आई एम आई एम पटर्ब टू सी के वो बच्चा इतनी जोर जोर से चाहे वो भरतनाट्यम है कथा के ओबीसी जो भी कर रहा है या इवन यू नो कंटेम्प्रेरी कर रहा है कोई वेस्टर्न डांस फॉर्म कर रहा है वो इतनी बुरी तरह से अपनी बॉडी को अब्यूज करते हैं बिना ये समझे कि यू नो बॉडी इज द ओनली टेम्पल दैट यू लिव इन एंड What is the only medium through which you will be able to reach the divine? Ah, tabhi to ap perform karenge, tabhi to ap ap you know. So the thing is that usko itna abuse karte hain just to get the technique right. So that understanding and also 
there are a lot of times injuries which just happen you know that is not something that you have kind of in the sense of aapne sab dhyan rakha ho fir bhi injuries hoti hai to usko kaise heal karna hai so these are all the things that we are amalgamating in that course for this reason only that after dancing for good 3 years 4 years 5 years i realized ki yaar bahut perform kar liya kitna perform karu dikhane ka mann nahi karta mera i'm not a teacher material choreography mujhe nahi karni fir kya karu so i can go into therapy i can go into fitness i can go into management i can study further research and documentation आप कई बड़े बड़े आर्टिस्ट को देखेंगे जिन्होंने पढ़ाई नहीं की है दूसरी तीसरी चौथी पास है तो mm-hmm. वो उनके साथ ये होता है कि जब पैंडेमिक आया तब उनको रियलाइज हुआ कि भैया पढ़ाई कितनी जरूरी है तो so, mm-hmm. और अगर आप आर्ट की ही पढ़ाई कर रहे हैं ज्ञान की कमी नहीं है उनको ज्ञान बहुत है लेकिन उसको प्रेजेंट करने के लिए फिर उनके शिष्यगणों ने हेल्प की दे वर एबल टू हेल्प यू नो Mm-hmm. going online also or kind of documenting or presenting your work like for example you you done this podcast so you know exactly from making a creative to how to circulate it how to connect it with people and write people mm-hmm. dance mein bhi music mein bhi art mein bhi aapko sahi logo tak pahunchna hai na it's not like mm-hmm. film ke bhi yaar wo aaye wo dekhe aur it is not a commercial activity that space so mm-hmm. ye sara kuch you know is the vision is that we we are looking at creating full performers complete artists as you said in the beginning jinko jo self dependent ho mujhe kisi ki zarurat na ho to kind of lead my career main akele kar sakti hu kal ko agar musician nahi hai mere paas mein so for me to create my music or record my music or get it from somewhere else and you know kind of um, edit it and put it together i should be able to do that i have struggled a lot because ye sab humne nahi sikha tha so jahan jahan jo jo hame nahi aata tha ab to ab hum seekh bhi rahe hain to you know like our kids can use the mobile and online so easily so this is just normal for them for me abhi tak i keep struggling with things so shuru se hi agar hum complete artist and and global approach i i कन्वर्स लॉट विथ हमारा टाइप है यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ विंचेस्टर के साथ सो वी आर ऑल्सो लुकिंग एट सेंडिंग द चिल्ड्रेन फॉर वन वीक देर सॉरी वन सेमेस्टर देर एंड वन सेमेस्टर दे विल स्टडी देर आउट ऑफ द एट सेमेस्टर्स ऑफ बी पी ए एंड वन सेमेस्टर आउट ऑफ द फोर सेमेस्टर्स ऑफ एम पी ए सो दैट वो ग्लोबल अप्रोच आए क्योंकि आपको पता तो होना चाहिए कि दुनिया में क्या हो रहा है कूप मंडूप नहीं बन सकते ना आप सिर्फ कि हाँ वी आर द बेस्ट तो that's the basic idea and the vision is so to basically a sustainable career into uh, any performing art for, for that matter i wouldn't yeah. limit it to dance uh, just both because nice. you are into dance because no, we have dance and music both right. uh, at the mm-hmm. time being we are offering both dance and music and mm-hmm. we are very soon trying to bring on board drama also so that mm-hmm. you know it is a holistic approach and because in world university of design we have architecture we have visual arts we have communication we have fashion we have design product design so in sab ke sath jab performing arts kaam karta hai jisse mujhe khud abhi bada maza aata hai unke jo deans hai unke sath baat karke kyunki in the end it's all about communication abhi maine piyush pandey ji jo ad maker hai unka ek session attend kiya tha to unhone bahut khoobsurti se ek baat kahi ki in the end the idea is to communicate for a designer also for a performer also and for everybody like even if you are working in an office aapko apne kaam ko communicate karna hai it's all about communication and and what better a place where you have all these design and you know all the other fashion and other architecture um, subjects and performing arts and then all of you work together towards communication under that one umbrella so i feel that it will be a very holistic program uh, and i would say unique in its own way because jo baki universities offer karti hai unke paas itna plethora of design nahi hota hai so we are doing movement designing and notation designing that's basically where you go na aap choreographer bante hain ya music uh, design karte hain so chahe aap gayak ho chahe aap music producer ho so you know the whole idea to design an artist jiske paas apni talent to khair hai hi hai but ek pura set of skills उसको देखे और एक होलिस्टिक अप्रोच के साथ में सो दैट कैन हैव अ वेरी सस्टेनेबल करियर इन इन परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स दैट्स द आइडिया 
great that's great so i'll take q from your uh, you know uh, last uh, line only uh, you mentioned oh. fashion so we'll move on to uh, you know a, a question that has been dwelling in my mind because you are into uh, you know you are an artist uh, to the core and uh, also an art administrator you are uh, now heading uh, you know uh, as a dean of uh, a prestigious university which deals into design so um, you must be aware that panash kala uh, deals into uh, handlooms and hand handicrafts so um, i would like to understand what are your thoughts around uh, you know the struggle that uh, you know the um, uh, artisans and the weavers that they are facing uh, in the current uh, uh, time or you know the way the generations uh, who the newer generation the current generation they are leaving uh, after let's say graduation kiya ya even 12th grade kiya uske baad they are leaving their uh, you know traditional uh, art or their, their uh, you know family tradition the mm. weaving that their family has been doing for years and uh, uh, that is resulting into one after another uh, you know very classic uh, heritage uh, weaving uh, gradually dying it's uh, you know um, death uh, i would say premature because ye uh, inki to death honi hi nahi chahiye as much as we want, must uh, you know preserve our culture and tradition in terms of music dance drama all that we have in our country uh, this uh, handloom is another you know very uh, uh, rich heritage that we have and uh, mm-hmm. unfortunately uh, that is not being seen by the generation so what are your thoughts mm-hmm. around that uh, if you have thought about it um uh, champa the thing is that the state is same as it is performing arts the same way as it is with the artisans of handlooms also um i would say there are two three major reasons to it ek to kahawat hai charak tale andhera hota hai so uska reason ye hota hai ki the children have seen the struggle of the parents like for example when i got into um, you know when i got married and when i had my son by then i had done my struggle before only uske baad mein itna struggle nahi tha lekin uh, usually jo artisans hote hain obviously choti umar mein shaadiyan ho jati hai and then uske baad mein bachcha dekhta hai ki maa baap itna kaam kar rahe hain itna maheen barik kaam kar rahe hain aur uh, पैसा उस तरह से नहीं आ रहा है जो कि सामने वाले घर में जो बच्चा है उसके पापा तो पोस्ट मास्टर है या टीचर है या किसी सरकारी या कि, किसी कई किसी फैक्ट्री में भी काम कर रहे हैं तो उनके पास में ज्यादा है राधर देन अस सो दैट इज वन वन थिंग दैट द चाइल्ड सी सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द रीजन दैट द चाइल्ड इज लाइक यार ये नहीं करना यू नो मैं कुछ और कर लेता हूँ दूसरी चीज ये होती है जो जो इट इज अ वेरी पर्सनल ऑब्जर्वेशन i might be wrong for a lot of people but i have seen this that people who on pretext of promoting art culture preserving it they actually um, you know they uh, really uh, treat the artisans very bad they is exploit them uh, abhi uh, around ek mahine pehle i had gone to one of the बाड़मेर करके एक जगह है राजस्थान में तो आई गोन देर लंगा फैमिली है लंगा मंगनिया सो आई 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 डू अट ऑफ डांसिंग ऑन मांड आई प्रेजेंट दैट मैं उनके साथ में काम कर रही थी तो तो देवर टेलिंग मी दी स्टोरी के पता है हमको वो वहां लेकर गए अमरीका लेकर गए फॉर देम एवरी फॉरन कंट्री इज अमरीका बिकॉज दे कांट प्रोनाउंस दर नेम हमको तब अमरीका लेके गए थे और आपको पता है उस टाइम पे मैंने कहा अच्छा कौन से साल में लेके गए थे बोले 2016 में लेके गए थे मैंने कहा अच्छा मैंने कहा अच्छा कितना पैसा दिया था यू हैड अ शो देयर बोले हाँ हमारे दस शो थे भाई जी एंड uh, हमको ना उन्होंने पूरा दस शो का जो है पचास हजार रुपया दिया था तो लाइक टेन शोज इन अमेरिका लंगा लंगा मंगनियर अकेला नहीं जाता है वो पूरा अपना ट्रुप लेके जाता है और आपने वहां उसको दस शोज कराए हैं और आपने उसको पचास हजार रुपया दिया इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट क्योंकि वो अनपढ़ है 
तो आप यू नो इतना गंदा सोच जो होता है उससे आपको लगता है कि आपको बहुत पैसे में बरकत मिल गई या आपको बड़ा आपका नाम हो गया बट दिस इज नॉट राइट एंड अगर पढ़े लिखे लोग एंड आई आई विल ओनली स्पेसिफिकली टॉक अबाउट इंडियंस बिकॉज अगर हम इंडियंस ही अपने कलाकारों को नहीं संभालेंगे तो फिर कौन संभालेगा फॉरनर्स ट्रीट दम रियली वेल इफ दे पिक दैम एंड इफ दे टेक दैम एंड इफ दे गिव दम डायरेक्ट वर्क विच इज वेरी लेस दे ट्रीट दम वेरी वेल बात सिर्फ पैसे की नहीं होती है बात होती है हक की कि यू नो टुमारो यू आर कॉलिंग मी फॉर अ परफॉर्मेंस आई विल पुट ऑन अ कॉस्ट्यूम आई विल डू माय मेकअप आई विल ट्रैवल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर और उसके बाद में आप बोलो पारुल कैन यू जस्ट डू इट फॉर एक्सपोजर आई एम एक्सक्यूज मी वाई वाई यू ओनली वॉन्ट टू गिव एक्सपोजर बिकॉज आई एम श्योर यू आर नॉट डूइंग योर होल फेस्टिवल फॉर एक्सपोजर तुमने स्पॉन्सर्स भी बुलाए हैं तुमने बहुत कुछ किया है जी यू नो पीपल हैव डोनेटेड चाहे आपने एक एनजीओ बना के कुछ भी किया है सो वाई फॉर एक्सपोजर है वाई नॉट मनी घोड़ा अगर खास से दोस्ती करेगा तो फिर वो तो क्या करेगा भूखा मर जाएगा ना आप आर्टिस्ट को एज एज ऑन्टरप्रोनर एज अ प्रोफेशनल क्यों नहीं देख सकते हैं आप खुद तो प्रोफेशनल हो गए आई एम एन आर्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर टूमोरो वेन आई टेक अ फैकल्टी I have to be very clear that a professor or an assistant professor को जो salary मिलता है किसी भी scholastic subject में वो उसको performing arts में भी मिलना चाहिए ना That is a stand I have to take as a dean. मैं कहता हूँ हाँ कुछ नहीं है ये तो इसमें आ जाएगा So that is the second reason that people exploit them a lot because education कम है दूसरा और exposure you know people like to be on the screen और आप उनको बोलो exposure के लिए आ जाओ तो so, बेचारे फ्री में काम करते जाएंगे करते जाएंगे करते जाएंगे सो so, कला का स्तर भी गिर जाता है और तीसरी चीज जो मुझे ये लगता है वो ये है कि कहीं पर व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट हैंडलूम्स उसको हम अगर थोड़ा सा हाउ वुड आई पुट इट जैसे साड़ियां हैं आप साड़ियां बहुत अच्छी बनाती हैं माई सेल्फ अ बिग फैन ऑफ योर वर्क अगर आप साड़ियां ही बना रहे हैं आप लेकिन अगर आप मेरे पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखेंगे तो साड़ी पहन के मैं परफॉर्म तो बड़े अच्छे से कर लूंगी या बातचीत कर लूंगी लेकिन एक्चुअली जब मुझे क्लास लेना होगा तो मुझे साड़ी इतना कंफर्टेबल नहीं होगा राइट सो आर डिजाइन हैव टू काइंड ऑफ कम इन द सेम हैंडलूम मटीरियल बट लाइक थिंकिंग ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट आई परफॉर्म ट्वाइस अ मंथ बट आई टीच एवरी डे सो द कॉस्ट्यूम For my everyday working, I'm I'm only talking from a dancer's perspective. So every other person who's working in different field, so उनका mm-hmm. जो daily routine का काम है, उसमें एक presentable अच्छा costume या जो भी dress है, वो handloom में से निकल कर आए, और उसके अलावा affordable भी हो, you know, because with women the thing is हम एक ही साड़ी को दस दिन तक नहीं पहन सकते, like men can you know carry on with the same dress for good. Mm-hmm. चार कपड़ों में अपना निकाल लेते हैं तो so, mm-hmm. उसके ऊपर जो है जैसे डेली रूटीन में अगर हम इट इज अ वेरी ग्रेजुअल प्रोसेस बट अगर हम डेली जो हम आसपास के लोगों को ऑब्जर्व करते हैं कि ये क्या पहनते हैं व्हेन दे आर एक्चुअली डूइंग द कोर वर्क उसमें अगर हम हैंडलूम डिजाइन को ले आए चाहे आई वॉज अभी एक दिन आई वॉज जस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड आई वॉज वेरी काफ्तान एंड इट वॉज वेरी वेरी कंफर्टेबल and uh, yes. like, so you know or or you know bahut designer kurte chalte hain long slits wale ye hai wo hai and us time mein agar koi recording bhi kar le kyunki aajkal hota hai har session ki recording ho jati hai so aesthetic bhi lagta hai and uh, comfortable in dancing and dikhane mein bhi so i think a uh, jo bacche hain un- unko support karna chahiye hame artists ke bachcho ko and we have to instill that uh pride in them and that only people around them can do parents to nahi bolenge na ki dekho hum kitne bade kalakar hai lekin but that is one thing second thing is wherever we see exploitation happening of art we should speak about it and we should pinpoint it 
without thinking that's whether it is reason we uh, you know pick up this topic that's the reason we talk about it because we also strongly believe that the more we talk about it the that comes out as a protest to this because uh, not necessarily always you need to have a jhanda in your hand and you know go on a march you can actually raise and create awareness uh, through uh, these kind of conversations and very well put uh, parul we all so do see a lot of exploitation hamare jo viewer bhaiyas hai unko bahut aise you know exploitation ko face karna padta hai where uh, people uh, don't pay them well where people uh, you know take uh, stuff and don't pay at all and uh, you know uh, these are just these uh, keep on happening we we guide them abhi now that we are connected to few of them we guide them we help them and we do see them and they Uh, some of them are actually now able to see that you know they are entrepreneurs so they mm. are coming out as uh, one obviously not all of them and uh, we do have our limitations as well but uh, mm. yes uh, keeping our fingers crossed maybe are able to more and more you're doing a tremendous and, tremendous job that that's really that nice it is very important for each artist and a viewer mm. a craftsman mm. artisan is equally uh, you know a respectable artist as any uh, other art form and they need that uh, you know appreciation and recognition in terms of their remuneration and respect both it's not right. uh, either of the two it's both that they both need and deserve absolutely they deserve. so very very right. good and uh, yeah thank you so much for uh, you know coming out with your uh, genuine thoughts which somewhere we resonate a lot uh, and uh, it's really i mean man to nahi kar raha hai ki is life ko end karu bhi but uh, we are uh, you know almost towards the end of our life um, so um you have already uh, you know suggested us in terms of uh, you know products what we can come up with we'll keep that in mind we do our uh, so you know what i have seen uh, हैंडलूम सुन के लोगों को लगता है कि यू नो हैंडलूम दैट्स वेरी सोबर थिंग दैट्स जस्ट फॉर सम सर्टेन पीपल दोस हु आर नीच ऑडियंस दैट इन द नीच पीपल हु हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ अ टेस्ट बट वी वांट टू यू नो मेक पीपल अंडरस्टैंड वी आर टैगलाइन इज यू नो देयर इज अ साड़ी फॉर एवरी नारी Mm. and yes. we extended saying that there is a sari for every nari at every occasion or every right. purpose huh? so uh, oh. yes definitely uh, you know uh, that's there and with that thought uh, we are uh, you know trying to come up with ideas we uh, you know i try to style sarees which are very desi very uh, you know which are hand looms and very desi yet uh, you know how you can drape it in a very uh, chic modern way or a very trendy way so that's there and many other experiments we are uh, you know definitely coming up with so and we'll keep in mind uh, you know the uh, uh, the idea of uh, having comfort in your costumes so coming up with more uh, if we are able to however we are not going to venture into uh, stitching per se but definitely we can mm-hmm. think of uh, some ideas around that so thank you so much for that uh, but uh, if you are following our uh, you know uh, posts uh, any suggestions around uh, our uh, content uh, if you would want something specific to for us to come up with uh, or anything uh, specifically you liked uh, around our content i think you are doing a fabulous job shampa because you know you're bringing in a lot of variety and panash is a very new brand still so you know i am also sitting quietly and observing what is coming up next because obviously you are yourself an artist and uh, you come up with beautiful things what i personally liked was um, the ones that where you put in a lot of the indian context in the sense of uh, there was a saree that you very beautifully designed which had some mantra on it or some sanskrit uh, you know uh, motifs on it and uh, i think the way you are dwelling into different materials different color combinations because kisi ko bright bahut acha lagta hai kisi ko dark shade acha lagta hai kisi ko subtle acha lagta hai so 
I'm I'm just looking forward for your posts every week, and I'm just looking forward to the sarees because I suppose a lot of good work is happening. And variety here, because um, uh, it, it is a it is a unique piece, and obviously, ek hi jane ke pas mein hoti hai wo. So it is a it is a very very good thing. So not anything specifically what I would say, but yes, ah, uh, ye hai ki uh, please work more in linens and cottons so that people like us who always like to wear the same kind of a thing. But you know, in linens and cottons also there are a lot of not not too much of designer stuff that come in. You know, and and you mm-hmm. by touching it and by by giving it your own touch you make it very unique so i think absolutely brilliant work so we have yeah. actually a huge variety of linen so uh, ranging from cotton linen pure linen then uh, you know even in pure linen we have different thread count uh, you know quality so because many of uh, different people have different likings so not everyone right. is uh, you know having the same kind of linen uh, you know uh, inclination so, and then we mm-hmm. have silk uh, you know linen silks linen banarsis organza which you wouldn't ever uh, hear anywhere right. you know linen uh, right. with organza silk so we have uh, many uh, tissue linen for that mm-hmm. matter a huge mm-hmm. var- variety of linens linens are actually are uh, you know a uh, forte and cotton yes we'll uh, soon come up with more of cotton variants uh, as of now yes. we are more into cotton linens than uh, you know pure cotton because, so yes because i like the way you design it you know the way you hand paint it and and, and they, that is lovely and something on cotton of that sort obviously is a blessing linen so i'm sure you're doing it and i can see a lot of stuff yes. but yes the cotton is also because now summer is coming up so becomes more nice but you know lovely work i appreciate it. thank you so much so um before uh, we uh, you know uh, say goodbye to our viewers before we end this uh, any message that you would want to give uh, to the viewers to the audience uh, you know uh, as a, a performing artist as a woman and to the parents who would be uh, you know watching you because uh, i'm sure uh, you know someone uh, who has taken up uh, performing art dance uh, you know performing art mein singing फिर भी हमारे इंडिया में फिर भी हमारे जनरेशन में सिंगिंग काफी लोगों को फिर भी फैमिलीज में इजीली सिखाते बट डांस बिकॉज आई वाज पर्सनली स्टॉप्ड फ्रॉम लर्निंग डांस सो आई नो फॉर अ फैक्ट दैट द फैमिली सपोर्ट इज इम्पोर्टेंट सो फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम व्हाट इज योर यू नो मैसेज आई मीन ऑलरेडी आपने कहा है बट वॉट वुड बी योर यू नो एंडिंग कप लाइन फॉर देम you know my father always says one thing again coming back daddy's girl wo kehte hai ki race mein daudna bahut achhi baat hai lekin jab race khatam ho jaye uske baad bhi daudte rehna ye kaam ki samajhdari hai so you must have seen people racing you know jab hum ek normal race dekhte hain 100 meters 500 meters or whatever uh usme ek finishing line hota hai wo finishing line ke baad mein bhi agar koi banda pagal ki tarah daudi hi chala jaye to obviously hum usko pagal hi bulayenge so same way it is in life also for parents it is very important to understand where one thing ends and where another thing begins and that is growth you are not leaving one thing and you know jumping into something else you are growing from one thing to another that is one thing that from very beginning the children has have to be taught that you know mai ek to race लगा रहा हूँ लेकिन किसके साथ लगा रहा हूँ द जर्नी इज ऑलवेज इन वर्ड सो आई एम कम्पीटिंग विद माई सेल्फ वी रीड इट वाइट अलॉट के आई एम जस्ट कम्पीटिंग विद माई सेल्फ पीपल पुट अलॉट ऑफ व्हाट्सएप स्टेटस एंड फेसबुक स्टेटस एंड यू नो एवरी वेयर आई एम द बेस्ट एंड यू नो आई जस्ट कम्पीट माई सेल्फ एंड आई एम बिकमिंग बेटर एवरी डे बट आर वी एक्चुअली रिफ्लेक्टिंग ऑन टू दैट हम इतना कंसर्न होते हैं आस पास वालों के साथ में कि हमारा अपना जीवन कब बीत गया हमें पता ही नहीं लगता है so even at this moment if a parent decides to just stop and say ki ha this is important ki main apni journey ko aise invert karu kyunki um, religion is a very major uh, abhi controversial topic in india lekin hame is ek cheez samajhni padegi that india is not about religion it is about spirituality Absolutely. we are spiritual people 
स्पिरिचुअलिटी हमें ये बताती है कि देर इज अ डिवाइन फोर्स विच रन द होल यूनिवर्स आप इसे माने चाहे ना माने पर जैसे मैं अथर्व का बुरा नहीं करूंगी मैं अपने बेटे का बुरा कभी भी नहीं करूंगी सेम वे द डिवाइन फोर्स विल नेवर हार्म मी द ओनली थिंग इज दैट समथिंग बेटर इज कमिंग अप बट मुझे भी तो उसकी तरफ जाना पड़ेगा ना अगर मैं उससे दूर चली जाऊ आई एम नॉट सेंग हम माला फेरे या हम यू नो सर्टन रिचुअल्स करें वी जस्ट थिंक इन वर्ड्स एंड दैट इज समथिंग दैट डजेंट है यू हैव टू डिवेलप दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग एंड इफ इट इज देयर इन पेरेंट्स मुझे कहाँ से समझ में आई ये चीज अपने गुरुओं में देखा अपने माता पिता में देखा कि दे स्लोली एंड स्लोली दे वर गोइंग इन वर्ड्स क्लोजिंग डाउन अ लॉट और अपने अपने को कनेक्ट किया उन्होंने डिवाइन से क्योंकि एंड में हमको क्या चाहिए हमें चाहिए एक स्वस्थ शरीर uh, हमें चाहिए पीस ऑफ माइंड बस बहुत हो गया आपने पचासो रील्स बना ली आपने पूरा इंस्टाग्राम भर दिया आपने सारा फॉलो अप देख लिया और उसके बाद में ऐसा ही वाला प्लीज मेरे से पंद्रह मिनट कोई बात नहीं करेगा वट 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 वी आर आस्किंग इज पीस ऑफ माइंड वो हमें चौबीस घंटे क्यों नहीं मिल सकता है वो हमें चौबीस घंटे क्यों नहीं मिल सकता है तो बेसिकली यही आइडिया है कि स्पिरिचुअलिटी अथर पानी पिलाएंगे फिर बॉटल देंगे मेरी It is just probably speaking for lot. Thank you. मैंने आज आपको बहुत सारा बात भी करवाया ना मेड यू टॉक यू लॉट मुझे पानी पास में रखना चाहिए था थैंक यू सो मच बट वही वाली चीज है कि स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज इज द कोर वन हैज टू अंडरस्टैंड आई एम नॉट ओनली टॉकिंग एज एन आर्टिस्ट एम टॉकिंग एज एमन बींग कि हम uh, नर है एंड हमें नारायण से मिलना है इवेंचुअली सो इफ द होल स्टोरी इज दैट ओनली तो हमारे हर डे के हर काम में अगर हम स्पिरिचुअली सोचे उस एम्पथी को डेवलप करें और अगर आपको नृत्य अच्छा लगता है आपको गाना अच्छा लगता है यू लाइक ड्रामा यू लाइक पेंटिंग इवन इफ यू आर अ सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड और अ फाइव ईयर ओल्ड और अ फोर ईयर ओल्ड और अ फिफ्टीन ईयर ओल्ड और अ ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड और आई वुड से एट्टी ईयर ओल्ड यू आर एन इंडिविजुअल एंड यू हैव द राइट टू लिव द वे यू वॉन्ट टू लिव विदाउट हार्मिंग अदर्स सो उसकी उस उस कला को दबाइए मत उसको कमर्शियली करके उसको मत दबाइए कि यू नो इफ यू क्लियर आई आई टी एन आई आई एम एन यू नो यू यू लर्न इन लैक्स तो करेगा क्या उसके बाद में खाना उतना ही खाएगा फिर उसके बाद में मोटा हो जाएगा तो जिम जाएगा उसके बाद में हेल्थ इश्यूज हो जाएंगे फिर उसने सारे पैसे का क्या करेगा सो इट इज द टाइम टू रिफ्लेक्ट फॉर अस एज अ सोसाइटी दैट वेर आर वी गोइंग आर वी जस्ट टू कम अक्रॉस हाउ वुड आई से फॉरवर्ड और और इवॉल्व बींग्स हम कहीं अपने रूट्स को कम्प्लीटली छोड़ तो नहीं रहे हैं so that is the only thing that i keep telling people and i would like to tell through this medium also that don't leave your roots spirituality hamara root hai hamari kalaye hamara root hai and performing arts so visual arts so hand looms so kuch bhi ho indian ness jo hai hamari wohi hamari identity hai globally jaane jayenge hum usko wo aur un sab cheezon ko apnaiye aap chahe metaverse ki baat kijiye aur aap artificial intelligence seekhiye aur aap you know coding kijiye all these things are very important but don't leave what is like you know handed over to you over generation so that's that's very very important so that's the only thing i would like to share well said very well said parut it was so wonderful talking to you pata hi nahi chala you know kahan time nikal gaya and maine to aapko itna thakka bhi diya so nahi nahi not at all it is just that yeah some more water and thank you so much for taking out time thank you so much uh, you know 
for uh, sharing your journey, sharing your, uh, you know, uh, experience and enriching us and all the audience who would be, uh, you know, uh, even in future who would be listening or, uh, you know, seeing this uh, live. Uh, it is such an enriching, uh, you know, talk uh, that we had with you today. And uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for inviting me, Shampa. It was indeed a pleasure. And um, indeed, it was myself also. I enjoyed a lot. And for my, uh, it was a learning for me also. So thank you so much. Thank you. And on that note, uh, thanking everyone who joined us for the live. Uh, uh, we would say goodbye. Have a great evening. You too have a great evening, Parul. And uh, hope to you. see yep. more of you uh, in the coming days. Absolutely. Looking forward. Bye, dear. Bye. Thank you, everyone.